హలో ఎవరీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ మై నేమ్ ఈస్ వెంకటేష్ ఐఎమ్ ఐ డెవాప్స్ ఇంజనీర్ దిస్ ఇస్ డెవాప్స్ ప్రో జంక్షన్ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వి ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సి అబౌట్ హౌ టు యూస్ ఎస్ త్రీ బకెట్ యాస్ అ బ్యాకింగ్ బిఫోర్ దట్ ఐఎమ్ మేకింగ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ వీడియోస్ రిలేటెడ్ టు డెవాప్స్ లైక్ టెరాఫామ్ ఆన్సిబిల్ ట్యూబర్నటీస్ గిట్ అండ్ లాట్ మెనీ మోర్ టూబ్స్ ఐ ఎమ్ టేకింగ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ ఎఫర్ట్ విత్ దిస్ i hope this videos are helpful if you find this videos are helpful give your thumbs up subscribe my channel follow for more videos and share your comments in the comment section which will make me more encouraged to make lot of videos let's dive into today topic so in this topic i have total total 3.tf files uh, so one is main provider and variable.tf so when it comes to provider.tf i have terraform block provider block and you can see that there is one block called backend so this is i am going to use it for s3 if you see in the uh, backend s3 this is the uh, format and this is the syntax you have to use it so here you can see that terraform block under that we have a backend block so here i mentioned it as a s3 so i am specifically making this video for s3 as a backend and here you can give the bucket name which you have you should create already this bucket so i have already created one bucket in my uh, s3 so this is the bucket name s3 bucket test and with some number uh, and then the key key which can you make the path for your dot uh, tf state file you are going to simply store your state file in the s3 so which uh, this is the use case where you can use it for s3 uh, so that your state file will be safer in s3 bucket and uh, anyone can access with this s3 bucket so if any in your team any one of the person has made some configuration changes so that will be reflect easily to your s3 bucket uh, state file if you store your s3 uh, if you store your state file in your local laptop you can only access so others if made some changes it won't reflect so for that purpose as well as it will be storage purpose you can keep it safer and you can encrypt your uh, s3 bucket with the tf state file as well and you should specify the region of your bucket so um, s3 is uh, globally specified but when it comes to bucket you can create with the uh, region itself so you should specify your region so this is the format where i have made the script using that uh, you can use so same like i have used the bucket so the bucket name which i have given like i have created the uh, bucket so same name i have provided here and here i am creating the key so here yeah, i dev this the directory under that i am going to create terraform.tf state you can give any directory name and this should be the uh, same as terraform.tf state so which is going to reflect as your state file and you should specify your region name and uh, so this is the format so i am going to do uh, init with the uh, terraform let's see what will happen uh, terraform init once i give terraform in it so it initiating the backend and when it comes to see here successfully configured the backend s3 terraform will automatically use this backend unless the backend configuration is get changes which means terraform is going to the state file in the s3 bucket so which is we have defined here so in your team whoever having the access with the terraform plan and apply if anyone can do with that so that the changes will be reflect within the s3 bucket so everyone can access also it will be secured one so like this you can use a terraform uh, backend with s3 i hope this video is helpful if you find this video is helpful give thumbs up subscribe my channel follow for the more videos and thanks for watching